Hello and welcome back to your own channel Indian Defense Analysis where we bring to you all the latest development happening in the defense sector. Indian Army has been modernizing its motorized armor in much faster pace in recent years. The three armored platforms that were inducted by Army recently are Tata IPMV or Infantry Protected Mobility Vehicles which is based on DRDO's WAP, Tata QRF Medium and Bharat Forge QRF Heavy. QRF stands for Quick Reaction Force. Now, Bharat Forge QRF is basically Kalyani M4. Now, many of our viewers had query about the differences between these three platforms and their operational roles. So, in today's video, we will discuss around the same. To begin with, let's talk about the quantities of the order. The Indian Armed Forces have ordered 15 numbers of Tata IPMV, 76 numbers of Tata QRF Medium, and 81 numbers of Bharat Forge QRF AV. The cost of each IPMV is around Rs 16 crore and for Tata QRF medium it is 1.86 crore and each Kalyani M4 costs around Rs 5 crore. Talking about the curve weight of these platforms, the Tata IPMV weighs around 24 tons, Tata QRF medium weighs around 14 tons and QRF heavy weighs around 10 tons. Now you might be thinking if Tata QRF medium is heavier than Bharat Forge QRF heavy, why it is called medium while later as heavy? So there are two reasons for it, payload and power. Tata IPMV has a payload capacity of 3.5 ton, Tata QRF medium has payload capacity of 2 tons and Bharat Forge QRF heavy has payload capacity of 2.5 ton. While Bharat Forge QRF can generate maximum power of 450 horsepower, the Tata QRF has maximum power of 240 horsepower only. The Tata IPMV can generate maximum power of 600 horsepower. If we talk about protection, the Tata IPMV has STNAG 2, Tata QRF has STNAG 1 or NIG 3, and Bharat Forge QRF has STNAG 3 protection. All three vehicles have been designed for high altitude operation and can easily operate at an altitude of 17,000 feet and having operating temperature ranging from minus 15 degrees Celsius to 45 degrees Celsius. Talking about transmission, Tata IPMV has 8x8 automatic transmission while Tata QRF has 4x4 manual and Bharat Forge QRF has 4x4 automatic as well as manual transmission. The Tata IPMV can ford in waters having depth of up to 1500 mm which gives it amphibious capability. The Tata QRF has fording depth of 400 mm and Bharat Forge QRF has a fording depth of 700 mm. All these vehicles can be easily transported via C-17 transport aircrafts. Now during Defense Expo 2022, three versions of Tata WAP were shown which are ICV or Infantry Combat Vehicle, IPMV and WAP. The Tata WAP seems to be base version or plain vanilla version of the vehicle. The ICV has some interesting options of weapons. It can be integrated with a 30mm or 40mm remote control weapon station with optical sensors having 360 degree of surveillance. We have also seen WAP with 105mm gun which acts almost like a light tank. The turret can have either 105mm or 120mm main gun along with 12.7mm or 7.62mm coaxial machine gun. It also has a smoke grenade launcher and options for anti-tank guided missile. Now the another news which came after Defense Expo was for additional order of improved turret version of the Kalyani M4. The vehicle will be integrated with Israeli Spike anti-tank guided missile to neutralize the Chinese tanks. Besides anti-tank guided missile, the army is also looking to possibly increase the caliber of 7.62mm gun on board to a 20mm gun with an automatic turret. This was today's update. Please let us know your views on this in comment section. If you like the video, do not forget to like, share and subscribe. With this, I would like to say goodbye and Jai Hind. We'll soon back with more interesting and amazing development happening in the defense sector.